is our review for X-Men Origins Wolverine 2009, uh, directed by Gavin Hood, who I've never heard of. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't say I have not either. Years, it came out 2009, three years after X-Men The Last Stand. Uh, run time is about an hour and 47 minutes. Um, do you want to go ahead and explain the story? Mm -hmm. Basically, the basics of the story. The, it's hard to figure out the story. It's just basically the origin of Wolverine and how he got like his adamantium claws, and like it goes a little deeper into why it makes him seem like he he is a lonely person. You really don't yeah, have anybody, yeah. but um, it shows but that he does and, have aren't anyone worth having in his life. Exactly. Yeah, that. like he had a girlfriend, and she. She winds up not even being, the whole time. yeah, not yeah. even his actual girlfriend, and it kind of gives you a sense as to why he falls so easy for Jean Grey in the original X Men trilogy. It's just because he's never really had that companionship. I don't know. It, There's if you look at this movie um, as like a non-canon to the rest of the franchise, it, it basically just. A good idea of how Wolverine came to be and why he doesn't have his memory in the first movie and how that came to be. It's a good way to give you an idea of that, but if you want to consider this movie canon, oh boy, I, I, I we just watched it and like, I, I don't know. I've I never couldn't. laughed so much at a serious superhero film, you know what like, I mean? Yeah, like, that was like... <laughs> we, we actually, there was moments in it where we had to pause it and rewind it and actually watch it again because we were like they actually put that in the movie like like that what is his name zero when he when he jumps to the helicopter in that scene oh my and when he shot uh, he shot the cigar out of logan's yeah. mouth <laughs> and that's one thing another thing this movie uh doesn't really explain like logan he's born and his name is james jimmy Jimmy something. What was his name? James. I forget his last um, name. But uh, it doesn't really address why they call him Logan. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. Like, where did he get Logan at? If that's I not just his, out of nowhere. I get maybe his new persona as the lumberjack is Logan, but it never says that. It's just randomly strikers like Logan it says. Lo his name yeah, I didn't. Logan. I didn't get. I didn't get that at yeah, all. Yeah. No. Neither did I. I thought that was kind of foolish. There's that, yeah. and then there's the CGI in this movie is just yeah. off the rails bad. Like, it's cringeworthy. Like, there's but, some scenes that are, like, not bad, they're okay, but there's so many, like that ladder scene. Oh, <laughs> yeah, when he's, oh, that was obviously just sped up. He may have just been doing it, like, slow, but they were just like, yeah, let's just, let's speed that up for time. And, and it then, just, it looks so bad. Then that, uh, that Zero, it, this guy Zero, he's basically a mutant who is... The equivalent of like Hawkeye and Bullseye in a way. That's what they make him seem anyway. Everything he shoots, he hits all his targets. But then he got, he's doing these crazy Matrix backflips. You can clearly tell that he's hooked on wires. Like, um, with that, I like the war sequence in the intro. I like that. Them running yes, through all the wars. Yes, that is probably really like one of the most touching scenes in the movie. <laughs> the it's opening, like the, the opening, the opening scene. Credits it's like. Is, it's cool because you get to see Logan how he did go through, live through all these wars, and he fought them with his brother. And and I, I will say that I, I like how do you say his last name? Leave Schreider. 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 Leave Schreider. I think. Anyway, yeah. I really liked his saber tooth, but in X Men two thousand, the uh, I I liked that suit. I know the saber tooth from X Men two thousand was he was off and weird, but they really captured his look in that. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one, they. They captured his persona better, but not so much the look. But I, I, I prefer Leave more than I don't even know the other guy. <laughs> well, um, with that being said, um, let's talk about uh, Gambit. Yeah, Gambit. I, I like Gambit. He was... I thought uh, it was a really cool way. Like, for this being uh, Logan's first solo movie... Um, because I've been watching uh, a little bit of the old 90s cartoon, and I've seen, yeah, Gambit and Wolverine never really liked each other. They were always clashing and arguing oh, yeah. about stuff. Whereas in this movie, the first uh, Wolverine solo movie, it, it was kind of nice to see, like, hey, I remember him back in the yeah. 90s. He was always fighting with him. And... The thing, you want to see him with the X-Men, but maybe in the future with 
Yeah, I, I hope, but I think Channing Tatum would make a perfect Gambit, to be there's truthful. A, there's another scene I liked in uh, Origins, though, when Wolverine and uh, Sabretooth get in their fight at the bar or whatever. The, the fight's kind of iffy. There's some CGI questionable moments, but that's throughout the whole film, so... But there's a part where Sabretooth stomps on Wolverine's bone claws out of his hand and breaks them, and you can just imagine the pain that that would be. Cause it, in a, it's essentially like... It is a part of him. It's yeah, a bone. Yeah. It's part of his. It's a, like, you got to feel the pain even though it's his claws. Like It'll grow back, but for the moment, yeah, that couldn't have been too... When, when Logan checks out his claws in the bathroom... Oh yeah, just <laughs> shing, 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 the sparks. Fall. And that's another thing you said. You like how whenever they shoot at Logan, you can see the sparks. Yeah, I fly like that. I did him. like that in this movie. When they shoot him, you like if he gets hit, his his flesh rips, and then you see the sparks because he has metal bones. Yeah. It's like, I don't think they did that in the other ones, did they? I'm not 100. percent I never really noticed. That being said, there was a couple times where he got shot where there was too much sparks coming from him, like. Uh. It's almost like they went overboard with the CGI and uh, the coat. Remember in the barn? Yeah, the coat that he wears, the leather jacket or the coat or whatever he puts on. It was the same one that he was wearing in the first yeah. movie. And uh, I remember I was I was about like five or six or something. I had a little toy of it. And yeah, I, I had the toy too. And, <laughs> Jeans and, and cowboy boots. I liked seeing Blob in the movie. We have, just because we haven't gotten to see him yet, I was. I a guess a lot of people on the internet hate that interpretation of the Blob. Uh, which a lot of people. Not, I, I I don't disagree with it. I just I was just pumped to see him on the big screen because we keep getting all these mutants that we don't really. Yeah, know watch watching that about. today. I did not realize that the Blob was that that guy in the team of. Oh, like before. God, yeah, yeah, before yeah. Uh, they had the falling out. So I thought that was kind of funny. I only just realized that now. Now we'll. I want to. Now we'll talk back. about this guy. Yeah, I'll let I'll let you talk about. Yeah, yeah, get into it. Just where do I start on Deadpool? They, for the first quarter, third of the film, first little bit of the film, you see Wade Wilson. You you kind of like Ryan Reynolds as this Deadpool, just because he's got the mouth of Deadpool. There, it's yeah. obviously. A little, a little. You can PG tell it's 13, not an R-rated yeah. Deadpool, but he, he still feels like Deadpool. And then he he gets out of that uh, the elevator in that scene. He's cutting all he's the bullets. I don't know that he can do that in the comics. I don't know that he's that precise. Yeah, with all I, the I was wondering. I was like, is that a pool that, or is that a pool? Is that a power that uh, Wade Wilson has and in like I just pro ninja? And I, I was like, I don't think. That. I don't think it is, but. It made for a pretty cool scene, like when he cuts that bullet in half and it goes... And it shoots the two like, guys I, I thought him. that was pretty cool, but that being said, it just... It seemed like it was over the top. They could have had him run in that room and get shot a couple times and kill everyone with the swords and it would have had the same effect. I personally didn't mind him as, uh, like, whenever it's Ryan Reynolds, like, without the sound Before lips. Before they... If they kept that uh, in the movie, and then they say, yeah, Wade's gone, he's died, and then you just find out, oh, Deadpool died, okay, you would have had to live with it, but if they would have just came with him, with it, if it wasn't Deadpool, this Weapon 11 at the end, yeah, if, if it wasn't Deadpool and it was something else, I think it would have been a lot more uh, acceptable. Yeah, like it, they could have just made a random person with all these powers and kept him the exact same and just not called him Deadpool. And I would have that... been okay with it. But... And then <laughs> then Deadpool's decapitation. <laughs> the head falling. <laughs> it takes forever it's, for the head to fall. Yeah, it's as if it's like you're, you're in the middle of this big like crater like I don't even what know what it, what it's it was. A nuclear power no, plant. Something like tower. that, yeah. And his head is just falling down and like it would You'd, only take the, the, a couple seconds for this to fall. But the yeah, but with that being said, like the the lasers coming out of his eyes are going like flat, per perfectly around in this perfect little spiral down. Yeah, oh, like, it's so. Uh, I I've never seen a superhero movie so cringeworthy. Like like and <laughs> the story it had a really good story. They just they didn't execute it properly, and they there was a lot of stupid little loopholes. I can't. 
Like, what were one of the loopholes? I can't think of it. Really well, I think one that. of the loopholes was uh, the idea of uh, Cyclops being in the movie. Yeah. With him know. having his powers still in a normal it's like, school. It's like they took Cyclops' origin and just threw it in this Perfect, story like, just to make the story have a little just so they could say cyclops was in the movie i think they, they probably just did it just so they could use cyclops's power in deadpool that is down it comes down to that is the only know. reason he was in the movies and i uh, i don't know like i liked it when i first seen it when i was a kid but now just with all the x-men movies i've seen that they, they could have made that movie without cyclops in it they could they could have made this movie a hell of a lot different cgi the stuff I I will say this though the story it had a good story and it kept it had a good it had a good concept it. like the whole concept of it was good and even the idea of pouring all these pooling all these powers into someone <laughs> it's not a bad concept it's just de like the, the way Deadpool, it was executed they give Deadpool they... the powers of instead of the three claws he has this big sword that comes out of his arm okay you're like yeah okay that's cool but then you realize that this sword is like this fucking long. How is this sword in his arm on a regular basis? He'd be walking around like this. Like, it's just... It kind, he kind of was. He basically was just walking around like... Yeah, in a way. In a way he was, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's like... I don't think there's really anything much else to say about this movie. There isn't. There, I've, I've been jotting notes for these X-Men movies, and I find I write down a lot of things I like, and I have a hard time picking what I want to put in it. In this video, I had a hard time, A, finding scenes I liked in it. Like, there's two scenes I liked in it. And I found probably ten scenes worth noting that are bad scenes. And I I don't even want to mention them all. Because I don't, I don't want to make a review we just find, bashing it. But. We couldn't find a standout scene that we liked. Just put it like that. Yeah, like, the, the only standout scene that I personally liked isn't even really a scene. It's just showing Logan and Sabretooth run through all the wars, like, throughout the... A minute and a half, two minutes. And that's it's right just at the explaining beginning. Explaining their history and how, yeah, like it's to well, have it, the best, to have the best scene in your movie be at the, the beginning. The intro yeah. to the movie, it's like it should be the the outro or the climax should always be the best scene in the movie or the best sequence of scenes. Like that's when the good shit happens. But no. <laughs> but uh, other than that, yeah, I'd say I give this movie no more. I may even be over exaggerating, but I would give this movie no more than a five out of ten. It's I'm, it's it's something else. It's, I'm I'm borderline six and six and a half out of ten, and even then I don't like six and a half seems like I'm giving it too much, but six seems like I'm taking away too much. But then when I when I look at my facts, <laughs> the CGI, the story, just everything it. The, I it find be this a six out of ten, but I'll give it a six point five just because I love Hugh Jackman. This this movie is the movie that crumbled everything that Brian Singer started. Yeah. And it, it, maybe this is kind of like uh, the X Men's Batman and Robin. If we wouldn't have had this movie, we never would have gotten that awesome reboot, which was The Dark Knight by Christopher Nolan. Yeah, Dalton. true, true. So, other than that, I hope you guys liked the video just comment subscribe and we, share the video we will be doing uh next time he comes up we'll be doing the review for um the wolverine and hopefully that the whole first class trilogy but we'll have to see we're we'll have we're, to see how that goes first we're gonna try to get uh, all the x-men movies out on youtube here before the reviews logan. The before reviews logan before. is released yeah. and that's released in like two weeks three weeks three weeks Three and a half weeks, two and a half weeks. So oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, follow us on Instagram if you want to stay updated with us. Uh, the Super Stash Bros. Um, and that should be here. Other than that, yeah, guys, stay out of trouble, stay in <laughs> school, and have a good one.